in advance of Guardians of the Galaxy 2. We're going to be breaking down the science of the original Guardians of the Galaxy to separate science fact from fiction. You know, it's all fiction, okay? This, this embellishment. Roll that tape. During their prison break from inside space prison Kiln, Rocket the raccoon disables the artificial gravity, leaving the guards floating into the air, unable to pursue the guardians. He turned off the artificial gravity everywhere but in here. How you turn off the gravity by plugging two cables together, I'm not clear on that. But just because the gravity goes off doesn't mean you float up. Inertia is a property of matter, you just sort of be there. And I imagine you can steady yourself enough to aim one of the rocket bazooka things. But the heroes have got to get out of there. The Guardians of the Galaxy you got to guard the galaxy, too. So last year we found gravity waves, as predicted by relativity. So are there particles of gravity? You know, like we have photons and, gra and light waves. So could you concentrate gravitons in a graviton bottle and squirt them wherever you needed them? I guess. You saw it happen, so that's it. I mean, it, that's the way it works. What? During a space pod flight, Gamora is ejected from her ship into space without a spacesuit, which she then ejects from his pod without a spacesuit, wearing only his helmet, which she then places onto Gamora, leaving him without a breathing device. Deep space is three kelvins, three degrees Celsius above absolute zero. So he starts to freeze. The former Soviet Union did experiments with dogs and they were able to live in a vacuum for 30 seconds. So it's reasonable that you could pull it off. And then there's a tractor beam to pull them in the ship. That's just so cool. I want to get one for my car. The Power Infinity Stone has the ability to wipe out an entire planet just by touching the stone to the planet's surface. We'd have this Infinity Stone, which has these fabulous superpowers. Guardians use them to knock, mow down armies and destroy whole planets, <laughs> you know, <laughs> the way you do. So it seems like that's something that would be dangerous. So we're living at a time where people are concerned about nuclear proliferation. Infinity Stone proliferation would really be troublesome. It would be as powerful as unobtainium. It just, you can't even, you can't even get your mind around it. It's like not even nuclear weapons, it's a whole nother, well, it's infinity. You know, when you have infinity, I mean, anything can happen. I'm not telling you.